Oh sh! What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Meow, 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 meow. Sorry. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Chime <laughs> Story. Now, Monster Chase. The epic conclusion of Chime. Monster Base. So now, at this point, you get into the attic, and you. Well, you are in the attic, motherfucker. No, you, the final area of the attic. Okay. <laughs> With the moon hats. No, no moon hats. So, she discovers this guy named uh, Mr. Niles, and that's him right there. That's Mr. Niles. He, he uh, corners her, and he's this tall dude, so he corners her, and he's like, Alright, you're next. And suddenly, Billy Bones pops out of nowhere and throws something at him and knocks him out. She starts to run out. Mr. Niles is the bad boy? Yeah, Mr. Niles, who is this man who lives in her village. Turns out, um... Oh, he was like an actual dude? Yeah, it turns out he was the murderer all along. So now he's chasing you down the hallway, and his part of his skin is getting ripped off? Yeah. And you start to see that he has some other form underneath his human flesh, and it's really uh, fucked up. He's chasing you down the hallway now, and you're jumping over... I can't remember what the obstacles are. There's... Now, you're here in the library, and he rips off of all of his skin flesh, and he's revealed to be this really screwed-up-looking monster with multiple joints in his legs. Die, bitch. Now, Billy Bones <laughs> comes and throws Sweet. something at him. The monster then jumps towards Billy Bones and pins him to the wall. And he's like, ha, I'm gonna kill you, bitch. But Chloe, she runs to the fireplace. Yeah, I remember that part. That Billy Bones threw the key into by accident. She grabs it with the tongs, the metal tongs by the fireplace. Mm -hmm. She smacks the monster with it because the key is now, like, piercing hot. Like, it's steaming. And then after fighting him, she then stabs him through the gut with it. The magical key then sets him on fire, and then the mansion starts to go up in flames. Billy Bones teleports you out, and, and then says goodbye, and... Wait, Billy, Billy Bones can teleport? Yeah. Why the fuck do you need the key to go in the place if he's gonna help you? You don't need a key, he'll just teleport you in. There was some... This was years ago. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, then you go out, and the cops show up, and they're like, What the? You better explain this yourself, missy. The cops were real dicks in that game. <laughs> and then her her parents... Is this, uh... Her parents run up to... Uh, this level right here is... But yeah, so no, that's the story of Chime. Um, there's a lot of other story details that I didn't even mention, but, uh, yeah. Wait, Wait. oh, this is the same one, it's just now it's an auto-scroller? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we're dead. You're dead. Yeah, don't, don't even bother playing this one, this one's not even... Why? Oh, you can if you want. Fuck you, I do what I want, Missy. Just a little harder. Oh, you missed the costume. Shit. I'm trying to think if there's anything else interesting I can share about Chime. It was gonna be kind of like Paper Mario. In that it was like a 2D... All the sprites were gonna be 2D, but it was gonna be like in a 3D-ish world. Okay. Um... Oh yeah, in the beginning of the game, uh... Chloe's friend May ends up getting murdered by Mr. Niles, who you don't know is the murderer by that point. Okay, wait, what um, the fuck? Oh, Jesus. I animated a bunch of cutscenes for the game, and... Aw, oh, man! Boop-beep-boop-boop-boop-boop-boop-boop. Yeah, see, it's like the same level, so... But yeah, no, it was a fun project to work on. My, my uh, project leader, she's so talented in getting to animate her characters, and... Oh! Hello. She actually had a... Off subject, she actually is a huge fan Eat of Deadpool. Eat the poo poo! Yes, sure, that. But mostly she's a huge fan of Deadpool. She actually had this really funny idea for a Little Mermaid parody. In which case, instead of Ariel what and- What the fuck? Jesus. Oh, okay. Yeah, you need the star. <laughs> Where's the star, though? I didn't see one. You can't get a star right there? I don't think so. No? It's a little bit different than the other one. Oh, yeah, you, maybe, you probably just have to gun it by that point. Um... So yeah, she had this idea where Deadpool is Ariel, and instead of going after Eric because he loves him, and she, ooh, instead he he wants to meet Spider-Man who lives on the surface, but he can't because you know Deadpool's a mermaid. <laughs> he can't go up to the surface. Damn. And he doesn't want to. He just wants to be bros with Spider-Man, 
he sings a song about how he wants to go to the surface and be bros with him. <laughs> and the very end of the of the story ends with uh, them just pounding their fists like, yeah! Instead of a kiss, you know? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Do you know the original uh, story of The Little Mermaid is like super fucked up? Oh yeah, I know. She she gets murdered in the end or something? I No, she kills herself. Yeah, she kills herself. She throws herself off the boat to drown, I think. Yeah, yeah, she, she gets given the choice to either murder Eric or uh, kill I don't, herself. No, I don't think so. Uh, Eric just, like, doesn't find her very interesting and marries another woman. Yeah, he marries another woman, and she's on the boat where they're sleeping after their wedding night, and Ariel's sisters, her mermaid sisters, swim up and are like, Here, take this knife. If oh, you, yeah. If you stab the prince in the heart you'll be able to live and you won't turn into sea foam. Yeah, that's right. But instead, she's like, no, I'm not going to be selfish. So then she turns into an angel and then she goes up to heaven and she has to like... <laughs> <laughs> no escape. She has to like do some uh, other stuff to gain true access into heaven. I don't know. She has to do some tasks or something. Okay. I can't remember, but yep. Did Whatever. Yeah, and when she's a human, every step she takes feels like daggers. Yeah! Oh, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those, those old fairy tales are pretty... Did you know, um... I'm not allowed to say this word on the show, but... Uh, uh, Little Red Riding Hood is actually a cautionary tale of, uh... You know, for little girls and not talking to strangers. Otherwise, they will do things to you. Oh, you can say the word rape on the show. Just, like, don't fucking trivialize that shit. I can say rape? Yeah, if you're talking about actual rape. Oh. I... We... Wow. <laughs> what? If you talk... I mean, there's a difference. We, we should have this conversation <laughs> off. You should probably take this out, too. Okay, but, okay, yeah. okay. You know what, let's say... You cut all that shit. Okay, 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 fine. But yes. <laughs> We got three more minutes. <laughs> uh, welcome back to the un the unmuted shit. Yeah, so, yes, the Little Red Riding Hood is a cautionary tale about rape. Yes, it is. Um, then, uh, I love the, the little taunts you can do. Yeah. The bow, bow. I I'm about done with this fucking shit. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't blame you. So, uh, auto-scroll levels are kind of poopy garbage not many people like them no it's just like rng oh my god <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny oh my <laughs> <laughs> my little cousin quite the devil i bet he's also really excited about mario what maker 2 i think this is the final level that i ever uploaded yeah actually so i guess after this we can uh i don't know what levels should we play next Eat beans shit hmm is there a starter? <gasps> there is! I knew it. But I don't think it's gonna help because we're on an auto scroller. Well, you just gotta get it real fast. What? You just gotta get it fast. Yeah, get, and get then, the mushroom. Then do what with it? Just get it and then. Oh, and right. And then I'm stuck. Oh, cause yeah, because it's an auto scroller. Oh, I get you. Okay. God, I gotta change out. What the motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> See, none of my levels made Elliot react like that. Only the one made by my little cousin. Well, that's because this, this one's just like, I'm going to put a million fucking things. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Hey, little cousin, I hope you enjoy... Fuck. <laughs> when I say little cousin, I mean he's he's actually like 18 years... I think he's going to be 18 pretty soon, actually. Wow. He, when I say little, I mean younger. Bitch. You know what's funny? You know how... Do, do, no. <laughs> You remember how I told you that <laughs> people in my family don't like the fact that we swear a lot on this show? Yeah. Um, I actually went through a period of time with my cousins where whenever they would swear, I would get triggered. <laughs> yeah, I'd get upset and be like, what? Don't say that. Because, ah. I don't know, yeah. I, I just wanted to be a good influence sure. on them, I guess. But mm -hmm. eventually I realized, okay, James, just don't try to control what they say. You're not... You're their, you're their older cousin, but you're not the boss of them. God damn it. Like, you, you, you're you kind of in charge of them to a degree, but you're not their parents. So, don't be a control freak. Because <laughs> one of my, uh... Because <laughs> one of my older cousins, she was kind of like that with me growing up, and I'm like, No, I refuse to be like her. <laughs> oh. 
was this the one that uh says that we sound like middle middle schoolers, schoolers who, who just uh, learned how to swear, to swear. <laughs> yes yeah that's that's great but i've been talking like this since i was in fucking first grade this is just how i fucking talk this is how my boss talks too in the office mm -hmm. just just talk it how i talk man <laughs> It See, middle schoolers, too. like, forcibly insert that shit into how they talk. Mm -hmm. They're like, ha, ha, um, this, um, this is a, f uh, this is, this is a fuck. This is f <laughs> mm -hmm. That's just how I fucking talk, because I'm a fucking retard. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, dodge the chain. Dude! Okay, fuck. <laughs> Isn't this fun? No. Don't you love it? No. This is how, kind of how I felt during your, um, lava level. Yeah. Oh, what the? Oh, you're a squid kid now. I'm a squid now! I'm you're a kid! kid oh, so kid what the now. hell? Oh, ah. Yeah. So close, man, so close. It is possible to beat. You cannot upload levels no, unless no, no. you can beat them. There has to be a way to beat this. Oh, there definitely is. I almost did it. I just missed the jump up. We're good. You just gotta be a pro. Okay, okay. Get it! Get it, girl! <laughs> or not. Hmm. Are we gonna have to skip on this one when the video's over? Maybe. Yeah, we might have to find a level that's less rage inducing. <laughs> you know what I thought of recently? What'd you think of recently? Speaking of piggies, you know Whizpig from Diddy Kong Racing? Yes. He has a really creepy voice. The bastard! <laughs> Dude, this is like fucking awful. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll, I'll talk about Whizpig when we actually play Diddy Kong Racing someday. What's your cousin's name? Uh, I'm not gonna say it. Oh. Well, just bleep it. Hey. Wait, 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 which cousin? The one who made this. The one, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I hope you fart in your sleep, but it's really a big shark, and then you get poop in your bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's gonna love this episode. <laughs> hey, Kathleen, hope you like the episode. <laughs> He actually has his own YouTube channel. Oh, awesome. Shout it out. There you if go. If he wants it, shout it out. Oh, I'm sure he does. All right. He, sure. he played um, He played through the first Uncharted game. Cool. Ooh, look at the, look at the cuties. Did you ever play uh, Triforce Heroes? Circle Jerk 6000, yeah. On 3DS? Every day. What'd you think of it? Uh, I, I meant Circle Jerk 6000. Uh, Did I play what on 3DS? Triforce Heroes. No. Because that's the character you're I watched. Playing. I watched someone play it. Okay, so you know what it is. I know what it is. Oh! <laughs> Bollocks! <laughs> Bollocks! Should I give it a try? No. I got this. This is now like a... <laughs> I have to fucking beat this, dude. <laughs> oh my god. I wonder if any viewers This are is like... basically... Dude, I used to play levels that were way harder than this shit. Like, oh, okay. I, I had this one level that I never beat on stream... But I think I had totaled, uh, I don't remember. It, I want to say it was like eight or nine hours in this one level over like different days trying <laughs> to fucking beat this thing. You did, you shan't give up. Pretty much. Okay, I'm taking the damage. There, this is what you're going to get set on fire. I Why wouldn't you make them alternate so there's some skill there? Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, cousin, why would you yeah. do <laughs> His actual, his username is AwesomeBanana77. Yeah, LameBanana64. That's right. I huh. just fucking subtracted 13. <laughs> Damn, diss. Shit! <laughs> I like how Goombas look like little, little, uh, glands. Little brown glands. For those of you who don't know, the glands is the tip of the penis. Okay. Th there's a reason they call it mushroom tip. Because it looks kind of like a mushroom. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. This has been James's educational knowledge of the day. <laughs> this has been Elliot's being facetious, no shit Sherlock. <laughs> Hey, not everybody knows these things. Um, maybe the glands part, but yes, I think most people understand <laughs> the reference of mushroom dick or anything <laughs> having to do with tip. <laughs> yeah, mushroom dick, mushroom tip, whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> <Elliot>. <laughs> I'm gonna have an aneurysm. Elliot. I'm gonna have a fucking aneurysm. <laughs> Don't take your rage out on me just because you suck ass at this level. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, now just wait, 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 wait. And go. What are you doing? Maybe that's uh, maybe that is what we need to get in. Oh yeah, that block. I bet you that's it. So yeah, you definitely have to wait there. Otherwise, if you go, you'll just be screwed. Can't lick my butt. <laughs> he can smell my farts. <laughs> You can eat my shark. We're Come 15 on, minutes in. please make me barf. <laughs> eat it, fart boy. <laughs> That's right, Cletus. <laughs> Are you gonna bleep that every time I say it? Yes, of course. <laughs> By the way, that was, it sounded like this. <laughs> kind of. Not really. But, this, yeah. This is the worst episode of Royal Games we've ever <laughs> this made. This is the best fucking episode Seriously. of Royal Games. <laughs> as much as I love talking about my, my college art projects. Actually, you know what, here. To Please, make things a little... smells like poop. To make things a little interesting, <laughs> let me talk about another art project I did. There was a uh, short animated film we made a year prior... I made it with the exact same team of three other people. Mushroom tip penis. <laughs> <laughs> I love how annoyed you were by that. You were like, "Oh, really? That's why they call it mushroom tip." I Jeez. wasn't actually annoyed. I'm just yanking your chain because that's yeah. my favorite thing in the world to do. Yes, it is. Do you like screwing with your other friends more, or am I like the ultimate? I like to fuck with them, but not nearly as much as you because Aww. they just they don't fucking fall into this shit like I do. Yeah, I'm like. Hey, hey, Tommy, eat my fucking nuts, you dumbass. He's like, okay. okay. <laughs> I, like, I go with it sometimes, but then there's times where or I'm I'll like, be Hi. like, oh, really? And they'll be like, yeah. <laughs> okay, anyways, there was a short animated film me and my compadres made called Palette. It was a short film about these two. Gordon Ramsay. It was about two different worlds. One of them was 2D. Worlds or world? Worlds. Two, one of them was 2D, it was a jungle forest world that was 2D and made in Adobe After Effects. The other one was seed... Actually, that does kind of look like a pile of shit. That's funny. Alright! Let's do it! Oh shit! I fucked it up! I fucked it up! I fucked it up! I fucked it up! And, anyways... So, in, in the CG world made in, that we made in Maya, uh... It, it's this robotic oh, world shit. where this robot lives, Mother and in the in the forest world, there's this large creature that lives in it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Called Butt Goo Supreme. Yeah. So Butt Goo Supreme <laughs> is just wandering around, and suddenly this wall, of, this window appears in between their two dimensions. That is like a window to see into each other's world. God, fucking chain Dude, chomp! I know. It, it's it's uh. just like. It, was like, hey, what can I do to make a great level? All right, I wrote it all down on the list. Now I'm gonna make sure not to do anything on the list, motherfucker. Um, okay. And so, so then <laughs> this window opens, and they can see each other. And, and the robot dude's like, whoa, what the? And where's the creature who's this, you know, carnivorous animal? He's kind of scared and like, Arr! and the robot's like, uh, okay, what's your problem? They then find out that the mirror, actually, or window or whatever, mm -hmm. they can actually draw on it. When you touch it, it creates art. And they... Pff, Jesus Christ. They start... It's, the problem is with the post. It's not the, the chain chomp. It's that you can't walk to the right there. Yeah, dude, it's... So anyways... So Why we, did you upload this? He, he didn't have a Wii U at the time. I had to upload Why it, did you upload this? I had to, man. Jamesy boy! <laughs> <laughs> this has been a Royal Goobs first. James says, <laughs> for the first time. Um, okay, so anyways. Did I fuck this up? Yes. Did I? Yes. Yeah, no, you, had to, you had to wait. <laughs> so, continuing the story. So, if you touch the wall, you can make artwork appear. 
it's like a touchscreen wall. The robot starts doing stuff. Well, no, actually, no. The creature starts doing stuff. He, he makes kind of this sporadic, crazy art. And the robot, who's super OCD and orderly about stuff, is like... He erases it. And the creature's like, what the fuck, man? Mm -hmm. They can't actually talk, though. They don't actually say oh, okay. that. <laughs> and the robot starts making his own artwork that's like, you know, perfect squares, perfect geometry. And the creature screws that up to get back at him. The robot's like, hey, fuck you. Then suddenly, they're like, okay, fine, I'll do my art over here, you do your art over there, screw you. Though eventually they kind of get to the point where they start uh, working together on the art and find a way to make it work. And... That, that's the most interesting part of the story. The ending is, like, they end up uh, accidentally hurting right. each other. Hold on to your balls, boys! You got this! You can do it, you can do it, you can do it! Yes, yes, yes. <gasps> <gasps> Eat my fucking fart! I say that with love. Thanks for the level. <laughs> and then they press their hands to the window. And because they feel like a connection, like a friendship. Like, you know how Tarzan and Jane press their hands together in Tarzan? And it's like, whoa. It's really dramatic and kind of corny, honestly, but it was still fun to make. I fucking hate this episode. This episode sucked ass. Dislike it for me. Just go ahead, hit the dislike button. Hey, thanks for making this. Thanks for making this. Bye.